Yuya Tenjo, a middle school student, has suffered relentless bullying throughout his life due to his weight. Even his own parents favor his more attractive siblings, leaving him feeling isolated. Yuya resides alone in his grandfather's inherited house, the only person who showed him kindness. One day, he valiantly saves a girl named Kaori Hojo from a gang of thugs, enduring a brutal beating in the process. Unexpectedly, Yuya stumbles upon a hidden portal within his house that transports him to another world, reminiscent of a video game. Inside a magical cottage, he discovers powerful weapons. Eager to test his skills, he faces off against a formidable monster outside the cottage's protective barrier. Through his heroic victory, Yuya gains an astonishing 100 levels, undergoing a remarkable physical transformation, becoming tall, muscular, and remarkably handsome. Utilizing a unique skill to trade items for Japanese currency, Yuya purchases new clothes before returning to Japan for his first day of high school. His astonishing change astonishes his former bullies, but they, along with his jealous siblings, persist in their torment. However, their actions are abruptly halted when Kaori arrives, instantly recognizing Yuya, despite the mystery surrounding her knowledge. For having saved her, Kaori's father, chairman of the elite Uze Academy, is offering Yuya a place at Uze. His siblings attempt to push Yuya aside, claiming they are better suited to Uze, but Kaori rejects them as spiteful bullies. Yuya leaves with Kaori, leaving his siblings humiliated and furious. He worries about fitting in, but the chairman assures him Usig values strength of character over grades, making it easier to hone skills and have fun. As a trial, Yuya attends a science class run by Ms. Sawada, where most female students are smitten with his good looks. Yuya becomes tentative friends with Ryo and Shingo, and is overwhelmed by people treating him with actual kindness, so he agrees to transfer to Uze. Kaori shows him the nearby shopping center, and while sharing snacks, insists they use each other's first names. Many eavesdropping students assume they are on a date, embarrassing Yuya. He decides to return to the other world for fun, but this time encounters a girl named Lexia, whom he rescues from a monster. Unsure what to do, he sneaks away unseen once her guards arrive. Yuya decides to spend some of his new wealth on clothes. While shopping, he is grabbed by photographer Akaru as replacement for male celebrity model Sho, and takes part in a photo shoot with professional model Miu, who is drawn to Yuya's inexperience and charm. Sho abruptly shows up late and forcefully flirts with Miu. When Yuya protests, Sho tries to punch him only for Yuya to instinctively defeat him. Due to the cameras still recording, Sho is exposed online as a scumbag, destroying his career. Despite enjoying himself, Yuya declines Hikaru's offer of a Manilin contract to focus on his studies, but Hikaru insists on paying him with free designer clothing. In the other world, Princess Lexia of Arcelia is determined to thank her anonymous hero and stubbornly returns to the dangerous forest with her guards to find him. Yuya visits the other world and finds Lexia and her guards under attack again, so he rescues them, and Lexia abruptly asks Yuya to marry her. In Japan, Mu's boss is determined to hire Yuya before other meddling agencies get to him. After Lexia's sudden proposal, proper introductions are made and Yuya receives an invitation for an audience with her father, the king of Arcelia. However, Rhaegar, Arcelia's first prince, is most displeased an assassination attempt against his half-sister Lexia under his orders was foiled just before she was rescued by Yuya. On Earth, Yuya begins his life at Usei Academy where he quickly makes new friends among the students and impresses them by spectacularly rescuing Kaid Kazama from a stray soccer shot. Later, the Red Ogre Gang, commanded by his jealous twin siblings, attack Uze to take revenge on Kari. Though momentarily paralyzed by his self-doubts, Yuya gathers his courage and single-handedly takes down the entire gang. When the police arrive and arrest the gang, the Red Ogre's leader tries to kill Yoda and Sora for getting them into this mess, but Yuya rescues his siblings, leaving them deeply ashamed of their past mistreatment of him. On another expedition in the other world's monster forest, Yuya encounters and rescues a black Fenrir puppy, whom he takes adopts as a pet and names Knight. As he takes Knight for walks in his neighborhood on Earth, Yuya inadvertently draws even more positive attention to himself, and also meets Kaori and Miu by chance. After Knight proves more capable than his appearance suggests, he accompanies Yuya on his monster-slaying exploits, during one of which they slay a crystal deer which wields both fire and water magic. A drop item it leaves behind after getting killed bestows Yuya with an instant hot bath whenever he needs it. On another trip, they discover a cave which contains a man's skeletal remains and a tome libeled the Book of the Sage. In the meantime, an infamous assassin named Headhunter is hired by Rager's agents to kill Princess Lexia. The book is the journal of the sage, the original owner of Yuya's cottage, who mastered every known skill, and was invited to become a god, but declined in favor of retaining his humanity. The book warns Yuya to cultivate friends who will never fear him, no matter how strong he becomes. 
Responding to Yuya's desires, the book grants him the sage's magical power and teaches Yuya and Knight everything about using magic. At Uze, the students are invited on a two-day camping trip. Yuya's group includes Cade, Akira, and Rin. Yuya's friends, including Kari, take him shopping for camping gear. The girls are separated from the boys and trapped by a fire, but Yuya uses magic to rescue them. In Arcelia, Lexia's father, King Arnold, learns Lexia proposed marriage to Yuya and concludes Yuya seduced her. Additionally, a girl with a dark aura confronts the divine rabbit, God of Kicks, and announces she will destroy the world. While continuing to explore the forest and sharpen his skills, Yuya and Knight encounter a girl being menaced by a group of goblins. Despite Knight strangely trying to keep him away from her, Yuya saves the stranger. Introducing herself as Luna, the girl claims she came into the forest for training. After Yuya treats her with a kindness she never experienced before, she falls for him and asks him to help her improve, which he readily agrees to. Sometime later, Yuya returns to Earth to take a break from their team-up in favor of his field trip with his classmate of Mountain Land owned by Uze Academy. To the students' bafflement, they have to spend this weekend sleeping outdoors and foraging their food. Yuya once again impresses his fellow students by hand-catching fish for dinner. In the other world, however, Luna is revealed to be headhunter. After returning to camp and as the only one on his team with cooking skills, Yuya turns the foraged ingredients into such a delicious meal Miss Sawada promptly desires him as her future husband, much to the perturbation of Yuya's admirers among the female students. The next day, a wild bear strays into the camping area and attacks. When Miss Sawada is threatened, Yuya subdues the beast bare-handedly, and it is decided to keep it around as a guard animal. On the day he is scheduled to meet Lexia's father, Yuya ends up thwarting Luma's attack on the princess and knocks her out. Unable to believe she is evil and curious about her reasons, Yuya, spontaneously joined by Lexia, teleports them all to the sage's hut to treat Luma's injuries. After learning about Yuya's relationship with her, Lexia questions Luna, who reveals her life story before she became an assassin for the Guild of Darkness and that her latest mission is to kill Lexia. Expecting to be executed by either the princess or the guild for her failure, Luna is surprised when Yuya and Lexia instead extend their friendship to her. The princess hires her on as her bodyguard and both girls declare their affection for Yuya to each other. After spending the night in the hut, Yuga escorts the two girls to the edge of the forest, where he parts ways with them because he has school coming up the next day. Right afterwards, Yuya and Knight are joined by a little scarlet boar whom Yuya names Akatsuki. Back on Earth, Yuya participates in a soccer trial competition for the upcoming Academy's ball sport games, where he continues to stand out even as a goalie. The same afternoon, Mew's boss tracks him down at Uze. The manager of Mew's fashion magazine Cutie Beauty approaches Yuya as he leaves school only to be refused, but when she learns of the impending sports competition, she decides to take pictures of Yuya participating in that event. While on another monster hunting expedition deeper within the demon's den, Yuya is aided by the divine rabbit, who has been observing his progress and has chosen him to be his successor, as the bearer of the divine kick. After hearing about the equilibrium maintained between two groups of advanced beings, the benevolent divines of which the rabbit is a member, and the destructive vials, Yuya agrees to get trained in order to protect his friends in both worlds. When the sports competition begins by happenstance, Yuya ends up participating in every discipline and easily prevails, and for assisting her during the tennis match, Kaori gives him a passing kiss on the cheek. When next facing his vile opponent, the rabbit is able to surprise her with the magic Yuya taught him as recompense for the training, whereupon she decides to target Yuya for elimination first. Yuya and Kaori begin spending more time together as they prepare for their exams. While in Yuya's home, Kaori accidentally discovers the gate to the other world. Yuya lets her in on his secret, and she promises to keep it. In the capital of Arcelia, Lexia introduces Luna to her father. But as the circumstances for Luna's conversion are explained, King Arnold grows even more enraged at Yuya's indecencies against his daughter. Upon hearing this news, Regar decides to accelerate his plans to have his father and Lexia assassinated to claim the throne. After gaining a holiday following the competition, Yuya makes his way to the royal palace and meets the king. His awkwardness worsens the king's bad impression of him even more, but then Rager's agents attack with a magic-suppressing barrier. With his enhanced abilities, Yuya handily defeats the assailants. Lexia chides her father for his temper and proof of Rager's involvement is discovered. Even with Rager still at large, Lexia and Luna, with Owen for additional protection, give Yuya a tour of the capital. As they pass the local adventurer's guild, Luna spontaneously decides to register herself in Yuya. But when Yuya is tested for his magical capabilities, the results, far beyond normal, still draw a lot of attention. While Yuya and the girls are on a herb-gathering quest, Rieger's whereabouts are discovered and Owen asks Yuya to help apprehend the treacherous prince. 
Rhaegar is captured alive, but then the vile girl appears, reveals that she had exploited Rhaegar into attempting the coup d'etat in order to initiate a genocidal war, and prepares to kill everyone present. Yuya deflects her attacks with his magic, and the vile girl retreats. On Earth, Kaori vainly tries to visit Yuya. Back at the royal palace, Yuya is asked to participate in Rhaegar's trial. Rhaegar states that since Lexia accidentally burned him when her magic went out of control years ago, he let himself be consumed by his rage against her. Reminded of his old life, Yuya uses a magic elixir he's made to cure the prince and Lexia. Unable to hate her brother, exerts her will, and has a full pardon issued to him. As a reward for his actions, King Arnold knights Yuya and gifts him Rhaegar's former estate. Yuya keeps worrying about the vile girl so much that he begins neglecting his friends as he frantically decides to level up for their next confrontation. But the vile girl ambushes him during his training run. Worried about Yuya, Kaori goes through the portal and enters the demon's den, where she witnesses their battle. Yusaji appears and pleads with the girl, whom he calls Yudi, to stop the fight, reminding her that her late master, the archer, was a divine and a protector of humanity, even as he was killed by them. Yubi refuses to relent and unleashes her full vile power, only to be neutralized by Akatsuki. Yusaji leaves her in Yuya's care, and despite all she has seen and heard, Kaori assures Yuya of her continuing trust in him. In the mid credits it is shown how Kaori also meets and befriends Lexia and Luna, how Yuya and his siblings patch up their relationship, and how Yudi emigrates to Earth and enrolls at Usei as part of her redemption.